The 2013 session of Parliament is now underway, and this year's parliamentary session promises to be fiery with political parties preparing for next year's general elections. Now, to hear what's on the agenda for the ruling party, we are now joined by the Chief Whip of the African National Congress, Dr. Matole Mucheka. Good morning, sir, and thank you very much for joining us on our very first program of the year. Good morning to you and the listeners. So, so now, as the majority party in Parliament, what is... Uh, your program, what's your agenda for 2013? You know, as the majority party, we are informed by the processes that have taken place within the organization. Our policy conference, our national conference, January 8th statement, and uh, the Lokotlas that have taken place. So a clear program of action has emerged. And our president has uh, eloquently tabled a program of action informed by those processes. Now, what remains from, uh, for us as the parliament, we need to mobilize society behind that program of action presented by the president. We have to ensure that uh, we oversee the administration, the executive, in implementing that program. We have got to ensure that uh, our uh, <coughs> oversight visits are focused, that we are not all over, but also we have to avoid oversight stampede uh, where, you know, uh, uh, committees, uh, provincial governments, councils just uh, invade communities in an unorganized and unstructured fashion. So what we want to do we want to ensure that there's coordination between the NCOP and the NA, uh, and also the NCOP and NA on one side, and uh, the two, and the provincial legislatures and local government, oh, okay. uh, to ensure that uh, everything is focused. But secondly, you know that uh, there has been a, a social cohesion summit. Mm -hmm. We are going to intensify social dialogue, especially youth dialogues. So now last year, the parliamentary here ended on quite a high note with opposition parties all getting together uh, and, fight and uh, calling for a motion of uh, no confidence in President Jacob Zuma. The ANC, you guys fought tooth and nail, went to court. Uh, how are you guys planning to tackle that motion this year? Because the opposition parties have said that, they will come, that there's a possibility of them coming back and then continuing with that motion. How the do you plan to tackle that in 2020? ANC respects the Constitution and the fact that motions of no confidence are provided for in the Constitution. But the ANC does not agree that Parliament must be abused to advance uh, private agendas. So the motion of no uh, confidence proposed last year was a non-event. It was just an attempt by the DA and its fellow travelers to influence the elective conference of the ANC. It was no motion. That's why we offered them an opportunity to pro proceed with it this year. They are not interested. So it was no motion. It was uh, done in bad faith, uh, and that's why it has f fallen off. All right. Well, let's then talk uh, briefly about the State of the Nation Address. Now, opposition parties were less than impressed, I mean, if, if we could say that. Uh, there was a lot of unhappiness. Uh, they said that they were of the opinion that the SONA was uninspiring. It, had, it lacked uh, detail, it lacked content, uh, uh, you know, detail on implementation, uh, job creation, there was nothing much said of, the fight against crime and corruption, education, and the implementation of the NDP. What was your take? on the President's State of the Nation address. Even school children would not believe what these people say. Because, as I said, the President came with a concrete program of action informed by the new growth path uh, document, the National Development Plan, and he outlined specific things which were going to be done in, uh, <coughs> in, in the case of infrastructure. I mean, our people don't have access to water. He is building that infrastructure. Our people don't have roads, and he's building those roads. And uh, our people don't have uh, hot water, gay geysers, and these things. He's doing all those things. He's upgrading the airports. All those activities are going to 
create jobs and ensure that uh, the youth have quality, decent uh, jobs. And then in the case of education, you can see the improvement. The president said education is an apex priority. You can see he has delivered on that. You take rural development. He has acknowledged that the willing seller, willing buyer has not produced results. So it's not the president who failed. It's the approach that failed. Now, he has come with a good approach. Uh, he wants uh, just an equitable principle applied, and that is also informed by the, po by the Constitution. So these people are accusing the president because some of them were part of the authors of the inhumanities and inequalities and poverty that we have today. So if you tell them something that reminds them of their complicity in this inhuman acts, obviously they will not be inspired, they will be angry, and that's what we are seeing. So it has nothing about the qual quality of the statement of the president. It is about their guilty conscience, about their contribution to what this challenges that we face today. All right. So let's then move on. Eight opposition parties have now gotten themselves together to form a, a, a united front to challenge the ANC during and after the two-day uh, debate on the President uh, State of the Nation address. Uh, is the ANC ready for robust debate? And, and, and if so, what's your approach going to be? That will not lead to robust debate. Be and also, this is not a united front. It is one organization led by Honorable Lindio Mazibuko, who has rented leaders of political parties who have run out of ideas and she's using them to say what she wants to say in different voices. So actually that united front is going to weaken this parliament and undermine uh, multi-party democracy and undermine the mandates that sections of our nation gave to some of these political parties because they have abandoned their mandates they are going to be a spokesperson of one wrong message from the da but uh, isn't that taking uh, for granted what these opposition parties are, are doing because by, by by saying that they they they've become a spokespeople or spokes parties for the a for the da you essentially undermining their role i i'm just expressing what they are uh, uh, they have achieved that they have undermined their role they have undermined their uh, supporters so it's not something that comes from me it's what is evident from their behavior all right so we're going to have to leave it at that thank you very much for your thank time you very much. that was dr matole motseka the the chief whip of the anc in parliament now opposition parties form a united front to challenge the ruling party we also have snippets from Thursday's State of the Nation address. That's our story after the break. Please don't go away.